I wrote an article titled There Is No Brain for the Journal of Body and Society. The basic idea is that there's lots of new proposals for the neurosciences. Andy Clark's Extended Mind and various other inactive and embodied consciousness movements. But it struck me that none of these extended the most radical implications of a relational ontology, the idea that we're intimately entwined with our environments, that the light in the room, the air around us, the sound that we experience, all of these come together. The idea of all of being is instantaneous, always coming together, always of movement. So this article is about taking this idea to its extremes and applying it to neuroscience. What would neuroscientific practice need to look like if this kind of ontology was presumed. In the article, I build off of Rossi Bredotti's nomadic ontology, which is the best articulation of this view, in my opinion. I end the article by suggesting that neuroscience can change six things in order to align with a nomadic ontology, to see bodies as forming thoughts, to see thoughts as inside and outside of bodies, I hope that it's a little bit disorienting. The idea that there is no brain may seem completely nonsensical. And it seems nonsensical because to say that we have a brain and a body and all of these disarticulated organs makes perfect sense because that's how we think about the body. But what if we thought about it slightly differently? What would we need to do to understand it and to study it and to bring together the brain, the body, and the world, not to see those as three separate things, but to bring them intimately together in practice? I hope you enjoy it.